Hey everyone, my name is Sam and thanks for checking out my video. I am posting this on Christmas, so Merry Christmas to everyone who is celebrating. Happy holidays all around for sure. So as the title suggests, and if you've looked at my channel, you can see I've been counting down. Today I am revealing my favorite book of the year, my 12-ish favorite-ish books. I was kind of pretty super flexible with that number in case you haven't been able to tell in the videos. So drum roll please. My favorite book of the year, which I honestly thought was going to be The Black Witch until like very, very close to the end of this year. So my favorite all around book was The Dollmaker of Krakow by Aram Romero. This is a middle grade book that I originally had not heard of. I think it was Peru's project unboxed it and mentioned it in a video in like late November in like late October-ish and I was like oh that sounds interesting and I am so happy that I saw it and so happy that this book was introduced to me. I originally picked up the copy from my library and this book was one of the three books that I can remember making me cry in my life. Despite this book being a middle grade book it does an amazing absolutely enchanting job honestly of dealing with this topic. So it is set during World War II in Poland with a man who isn't Jewish. However, he is friends with several people who are Jewish. And it switches back and forth throughout the book between the world of the dolls, where one of the characters comes from, and the real world where Krakow is slowly being invaded by the Nazis. This book was enchanting and heartbreaking and heartwarming and so amazingly written and it dealt with the subject at a middle grade level which I don't know that I've ever seen before. I've either read books that have just way 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 over generalized and jumped over way too many important things that happen or they just get way too into detail and you're like you're gonna scar these children forever. The book itself it's got this touch of magic on the sides of good and evil as well which I feel helped detach a little bit from what was happening but it very clearly emphasized that this is, is what happened and I don't want to ruin it in the end but it's obviously not a happy ending and I think it's such an important book and a book that could that is such a good way to introduce and inform people especially children about everything that happened in World War II and that you didn't have to just be of you know Jewish descent for things to go bad for you. There were a lot of ways that you could cross a line. And I think just having this character who is a doll who talks makes it a little bit more digestible. And I've recommended this to a couple people and every single one of them that have read it since I've recommended it has messaged me saying, you destroyed me, I cried, oh my god, why did you make me read that? <laughs> so I, I just honestly cannot say enough good things about this book. I am going to be absolutely watching for this author to see what else she puts out. The only thing that I could change about this book is I want more illustrations. There are some really, really cool illustrations in the book. The pictures and the writing itself just did this amazing thing of helping you detach from the book and the horrors that you know were going to happen. As an adult, I knew that were going to happen, but also made it so that you are aware that this isn't fantasy, like this actually happened. So I, I, I don't understand how the author managed to do that, but it was beautiful and fantastic and I cannot highly recommend this book enough. It just absolutely broke my heart and it's kind of a glum book to be kind of talking about on Christmas Day or watching on Christmas Day. The only other books that have made me kind of feel and cry and tear at my heart the way that this book did was The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak and Sarah's Key by Tatiana de Rosne. And again, these all deal with the same time period and topic and kind of war, but they all kind of give this different perspective. And this is just a different age and a different geographic location. I think stories about resistance and survival from people who actually had to go to the camps are amazing and incredibly important and we need to be recording those and reading them but there were multiple sides to that war and and not everyone uh living in germany or living in germany occupied territory was helping them so this is just kind of a way to introduce a fictional tale in a non-fiction atmosphere and allow you to understand that you know, people could try their hardest and things still didn't always turn out the way that they should. So that wraps up my 12-ish favorite books of the year. I hope you had a wonderful year reading. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. And let me know if you've read this and hopefully I could sway a couple of people to read it because I... Yeah, I absolutely love this book. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure to check the description box down below for all of my social media. If you follow me, I will follow you back.